Hello out there, we're on the air, it's hockey night tonight. Tension grows, the whistle blows, and the puck goes down the ice. The goalie jumps and the players bump and the fans all go insane. Someone roars, Bobby scores at the good old hockey game. Oh, the good old hockey game is the best game you can name. And the best game you can name is the good old hockey game. Second period, where players dash with skates of flash, the home team trails behind, but they grab the puck and go bursting up, and they're down across the line. They storm the crease like bumblebees, they travel like a burning flame. We see them slide the puck inside, it's a 1-1 hockey game. Oh, the good old hockey game is the best game you can name. And the best game you can name is the good old hockey game. Third period, last game in the playoffs, too. Oh, take me where the hockey players face off down the rink. And the Stanley Cup is all filled up for the champs who win the drink. Now the final flick of a hockey stick and a one gigantic scream. The puck is in, the home team wins the good old hockey game. Oh, the good old hockey game is the best game you can name. And the best game you can name is the good old hockey game. Oh, the good old hockey game is the best game you can name. And the best game you can name is the good old hockey game. Oh, the good old Hockey game is the best game you can name, and the best game you can name is the good old hockey game. Welcome to your life. There's no turning back. Even while we sleep.
green seagull turn a deeper blue I could not foresee this thing happening to you If I look hard enough into the setting sun My love will laugh with me before the morning I see your dirty face
Hello and welcome to Oceanside Ice Arena, everybody. Sorry for the technical difficulties as we continue on here in this one with 4.37 left to go. ASU holding on to a 3-1 lead. Texas just broke the board and finally have their first goal of the game. Number 14th ranked Arizona State Sun Devils coming into tonight's game. Recycled in down low, trying to cruise in La Chapelle out to Manny now for a shot goes off the pad, the rebound, and that one turned all the way back on out to center ice and back down. Manning trying to chase it, and that will go for an icing. So 9 away left to go here, halfway point of this second period. ASU right now leading right now 3-1. Arizona State coming to this one at 10-6-1. On the other end, Texas for them, 5-4-0. ASU, number 14th ranked team in the ACHA rankings. They hold the last spot right now, the last playoff spot. So every game becomes more and more critical for them. In the first semester, they finished here at home at 4-3-1. You can talk about home ice advantage. Really wasn't home ice advantage for them in their play in the first semester, but now here the first game in 2023 in the new calendar year, holding a 3-1 lead as Chismar takes it right back up the ice and Bellatini offside, just about a hair in too early and that's gonna come back out to center ice. Ethan Bellatini recorded his 10th goal earlier tonight, had the second goal of the game as Walcott out there right now in to take the face off with Hildner and Walcott wins it. Chismar will float it back onto the other side and it's going to be tracked down here by Trawick. Inside the zone comes all the way on out and fed back on out to center. The last goal belongs to the Longhorns and cutting that lead down to two. As this one comes back out into the mesh and for the Sun Devils they're playing with a new gold center, new fresh face for them. And freshman Hayden Manning, the one that now one of the other brothers on this team, and the brother of 22 Connor Manning, the junior on this team. Both of them out of Chandler, Arizona. But for Hayden Manning, before played in the USPHL Elite League and played for the Northern Cyclones, and decided to join this team right after the first semester. And now here he is playing with them and playing in his first career game has made 14 stops so far here today. And just like that, the Longhorns gonna go right back to the power play. They're 0 for 3 tonight, but gonna have a chance to bring the game back to one. As that was Ty Zimmerman who drew the penalty, and now Pitty's gonna take a seat inside the penalty box. So we'll see the attacking zone face off to the glove hand side of Manning. This one thrown back up top of the point. Mayer works it along. His shot that time goes off the right pad. Fought down by Manning, and this one comes all the way back down. Going to be slowed up here this time by Sean Trice. Speaking of Sean Trice, coming into this game at 2-2 two and two and has given up nine goals through those four games he's played, but tonight has given up three. Here is Mayer, takes a look at the point. He'll walk it in downstairs, look for some room now as he circles the wagon around behind. Feeds it up top, that shot deflects off of La Chapelle and trying to clean it out of the zone. It's knocked back on into the corner. Put all the way back up top of the near side blue line. Here is Stevenson giving it back up to the far side and that wrist shot just floated right back on to Manning and he'll hang on. 105 left to go here on the power play. Sixty-five seconds left to go, and another face-off here for. 
The Longhorns trailing right now by two. So picked up now here in the draw one. It's moved along to the outside and fed back up top here for Scholler. He'll step it in down low and now finally cleared all the way back down the ice. Able to slow it back up is Trice. Our plate, skate to blade, loose in front, comes all the way back on out, and here comes Strohmeyer with it inside the attacking zone, drops his shoulder around Keller, got the backhand on. He'll take it off the follow-up chance. Blade back in deep now, Hildner looking to the point, trying to walk the line to Schuler. gets it across to the other side. Strohmeyer again back up top, here's a shot, and covered that time by Manning who hangs on. Aiden Manning coming to this game, and a freshman in his first game has looked pretty good so far here tonight. Only faced 19 shots, has stopped 18 of them. ASU with the first three goals, but the Longhorns with the last one as that shot just goes wide short side. Back along here from Mayer, feeds it back up to the point. Ott fakes the drive, gives it on Mayer, lets one go, and that one died in the traffic. Walk out out of the box and looks ahead. Now he has a breakaway in alone and missed the net follow-up chance and jammed it high. Right back over the top of the net. That's a second breakaway opportunity the Sun Devils had, and both chances did not hit the net. Cam O'Connor, the defenseman earlier, had one but could not capitalize as this one twisted back along and Walcott trying to take it along the boards, poking at it. Trying to get there, another hard check that time up in the corner, and that is going to be a penalty. So Haddock is going to take a seat, and now, again, the Longhorns are going to go right back on through the power play. 0 for 4 tonight. Going to have a chance, though, again, right here on their fifth power play chance. This one fed all the way back down the ice. Here's Eric Langley skating as well in his first game last season. Had 13 points, a 6-2 defenseman. His shot put back on net and turned out that time by Manning. So Hildner lining in for the draw and wins it. Texas playing catch right now and controlling inside the zone, but a giveaway and out come the Sun Devils shorthanded on the two on one. La Chapelle on the take, trying to got it in for Quain and couldn't get that one to go. The Sun Devils have one shorthanded goal so far this season. It was against UCLA earlier in the year. So Texas trying to reorganize their power play. Has not been good so far here. Coming into tonight either. Uh, 9 for 26 on the season. And so far 0 for 4 here tonight. Zimmerman trying to work it back along up top. Schuler with it. Long drive and right into the upper armor that time of Manning who hangs on. So down to 43 seconds left to go on this power play. Sun Devils trying to kill off five straight as that shot gets on net. Manning got a touch and push it back onto the corner. Back out low to high. Schuler across. Mayer's shot. Rebound kicked back on out. And now it's tracked out of the corner. 
Left on to the other side now. Evan Palmer trying to get there and feeds it along out to center ice. Here comes Pitty with some speed down the far side, trying to take it around, but lost the puck. And now Schuler will reset. Ten seconds left to go. One last push here on this power play for the Longhorns. Mayer, the captain, as he dumps it in, takes a hard hit along the wall. Now ASU back out to full strength. This hat it comes right back out of the penalty box. Does it float it back up and into the mesh? So the second line comes back out here onto the ice for ASU. Tyler Billingsley flanked by Cam O'Connor. And Mike Andriot. Staff up against Mesh, who lines in for the faceoff right now. And the draw goes to Texas. They take control right now and look things over with Langley. Able to drop it back in. Played behind for Mensch. Gave it away, and ASU now will recontrol. And this one flipped back out into the Longhorn bench area again. Down to 3.07 left to go in a two-goal game right now here from Oceanside Ice Arena. Downtown Tempe right now. Number 14th ranked Arizona State Sun Devils. Holding on to a 3-1 lead. I'm Joe Furtado. Glad you are with us here for this one on ASU's YouTube page. Two-line pass ahead, looking for O'Connor. Here he comes, powers away to the backhand and just couldn't quite get it. Now a blast! That time from Bellatini and feeds it right to the back of the net and a 4-1 lead here for ASU. That's going to be the second goal of the game for Ethan Bellatini, his 11th of the season. And ASU recapturing their three-goal lead again. It's now 4-1. So now here comes Emrin inside the attacking zone, rising shot. Get off a of trice that time. Kicks it in back down low, wrap around, try back in front. And comes all the way back out of the zone, so Texas has to tag up right now. They're offside, and now allows ASU to reset. They'll come back out 200 feet the other side. On the far side boards, and Yurak carries back in. Here he comes. Looks, try the shot. On the follow-up, back out to Keller, straightaway drive, that time off the stick in front. Now it's swung back out now to the near side, and Texas trying to clear the puck out of their zone. They can't. Now here comes, able to keep it in as Walcott. Flags it all the way back in for Pity. Steers it back along to the near side. They'll send it back out to the far corner, down to a minute forward left to go here in this second period. He comes all the way back down here for Keller, and he'll dance his way back along. Keller makes a nice move around one. Here he comes, joined by Quain to Keller. Able to spike it all the way back in for Quain. Try to force that one back in front. Instead, it's jammed all the way back down the ice. No icing and Manning. Looking for the two-line pass ahead, trying to feed Quain in for a breakaway. And able to get back in position as Shula drop off shot put on that time and tries to getting a piece. ASU with a lot of good chances right now in this game. Shots even though at 27 apiece. But ASU is still leading 4-1. to Texas matched up against a freshman goaltender in Hayden Manning and haven't really been able to solve him coming into tonight's game in his first career start with the Sun Devils. 
You can see him right now inside the crease, chatting up with his brother Connor Manning, one of the defensemen on this team. Snyder sends it around, awaiting the puck now, looking to get it all the way on his haddock. Trying to carry it inside the zone, out they come, and on the move. Forced on, Snyder touched it back in. So kicked all the way back down the ice, no icing, waved off as winning the race that time is Stevenson. Try to drop it back off. Heard try to get there in front. Came back out to the point. Long shot that time from Langley with a big blast over the top of the cage. And finally makes his way back on to Manning who just hangs on. Final seconds here in this second period and a 4-1 lead here for the Sun Devils. They're going to skate into the dressing room with a, which right now would be a three-goal lead. Loose puck right back on to the corner. Two seconds and one, and that is going to end the opening, or the middle frame. So 40 minutes of hockey here in the books. Final 20 to be played, but ASU leading 4-1. Don't go anywhere with a third period coming up after this.
Welcome back, everyone, here in Oceanside Arena in downtown Tempe. Arizona State hosting the Texas Longhorns for the first game here at Oceanside in the 2023 New Year here for ASU. Leading 4-1 to one after 40 minutes of hockey shots right now, 30-27 to 27 in favor of the visitors right now, but still trailing by three. ASU with the last goal before that second period was Ethan Bellatini to give ASU their three-goal lead again. I'm Joseph Furtado. Glad you guys are with us here for this one tuning in. ASU, the number 14th ranked team, coming at 10-8 and eight in this game and holding the last spot right now for the playoffs, the 14th spot in the ACHA as they are gearing up for regionals coming up in February. And back out to the point, that shot broken up, kicked on down low, and now taken around behind. Flipped onto the other side, just goes through and back up top low to high, and now skated out of the zone. Here comes the Sun Devils, out right to left. Inside the attacking zone, Barrett, his shot, caught the glove that time of Trice, and sent back down. Now Barrett will wait in the puck. He'll forge it all the way back in, tied up inside the skates right now, and trying to move it free is Sweeney. Came back out in front, score! Sent into the back of the net by Vance Walcott. And now it's a 5-1 lead here for the Sun Devils. So Vance Walcott getting the goal, and that is his ninth goal of the season. Vance Walcott, the sophomore, and prior to playing for ASU, played in the USPHL with the Black Knights. And Cam O'Connor giving a hard check up along the far side boards. So it comes all the way back down the ice, and that is going to go for an icing right now, right in front of Hayden Manning. and. Making his first career start between the pipes, Hayden Manning, a freshman goaltender. So playing all the way back on to the outside and taken out here by Schuler. He'll just guide this one all the way around behind. Picked up, tracked down here by the Longhorns. Sent back in now, here is Manning, trying to work it up along the near side boards, that centering pass in front. Picked up here by Snyder. So I'm sent back along to the other side, off the skate of O'Connor. Sent back by Snyder, and now ahead, and here comes O'Connor wheeling inside the zone, but offsides is the call. Right now, just about three minutes gone by here in this third period. So the night is over for Hayden Manning, actually, and Jared Affelbaum is inside the net between the pipes where the Sun Devils start in this third period. And for Affelbaum, has been one of the goaltenders on this team. Schuller gets it along to the other side. Horse back in now and taken around behind. Worked along here by Evan Palmer, swipes at it along the near side boards. Had it, took a hard check, and that one goes off the left leg of Affelbaum. Retried out of the corner, loose in front, twisting chance that time by Zimmerman. Works it back out to the point, low to high, shot on the way, deflected. Schuler thought about pinching, and now it's carried on by Haddock, trying to step around Schuler and could only get so far and took him up for a rough ride along the boards. Right back it goes. Palmer on the pinch, trying to hold the zone. Comes back out again for Palmer, trying to play it. And it finally finds its way back on out to center ice and sent back in. ASU making changes right now. As Quinn comes on, he finds the pass and threads it all the way back on for Keller. 
Keller looking out to his right. La Chapelle now in strut has a goal tonight. And Coyne, that one took a hop off the boards and all the way right back on to Trice. The Longhorns coming into tonight's game at 5-4-0 and 2-1 and on the road. A team right now who is out shooting the Sun Devils 32-29. The scoring just has not been there so far tonight. Trailing 5-1 in this hockey game. Draw week. Around to the outside. This one sent back on net and kicked along. That time by Trice and knocked on forward. Out come the Longhorns, fed back in space, and that shot is shut down by Jared Applebaum, who makes a save. So we'll see another attacking zone faceoff inside the Sun Devil zone, set up to the blocker hand side. Of Applebaum. Applebaum comes out of Huntington, New York. Manning floats it back on and stopping to get it now is O'Connor right back for Manning and try to deliver it to him and he's able to get control again Manning and just gonna circle this one in deep. Rotated back off the high glass, bouncing puck now the race for it. There it off that time just try to slide that one in front. Now the Sun Devils take over here and we are going to get a whistle. The whistle for the hand pass with 14.56 left to go in this third period. Another defensive zone draw here for ASU. And the draw picked up here by the Sun Devils, played back onto the near side. Here for Bosch. Off the wall, Billingsley back in stride for Manning. Two on one, joined by O'Connor on the right side. Manning, his shot put on, try to get the rebound. And now Billingsley. Down low, away from O'Connor, back off the boards and ahead now. Billingsley stopping and starting. Here he comes, his wrister. And that's caught. Right into the glove hand that time by Trice. So the face-off one here by ASU. Palmer able to spill it right back in on the centering feed that time. And nobody there that time. And now here comes Palmer. He'll guide it along and back ahead. Right back in deep it goes for Sweeney. He'll send it around to the near side. Sweeney knocks his man right into the back. And that is going to be another penalty. And another power play chance here for the Longhorns again. So Patrick Sweeney makes his way into the sin bin. So another minor penalty here for ASU and another power play chance tonight here for Texas. And team like the Longhorns coming into tonight, nine for 26 at 34% and have been struggling here tonight. 0 for five in this game. ASU has killed five straight penalties off Trying to make it six here as that one goes off the boards. Bouncing puck, La Chapelle in chase. But can he get there first? That time is Eric Langley. Rims it around, gets it right back on from Schuler. Langley will start the breakout. Here they come with Schuler again to the outside. Trying to get it through, but couldn't quite get it past Paget. Flipped all the way back up into the air that time by Stevenson and lands back into the corner. Able to take it up, now on the boards is Hurd. Trying to guide this one back along and taken 
by the Longhorns. They work it inside the attacking zone. The drop off here is a shot from the point. That time kicked on to the outside. And jumping right back on it here is Ott. Looks at a man down low. Ott gets it right on back. Sweeney watching him now as he turns it up top to the point. Here is Mayer. Feeds that one along and just goes out of the reach that time. A trawl week. Forcing one in front again. This one took a high touch and goes up off the top of the net. And that is going to be another whistle here. 34 seconds still left to go on this power play for the Longhorns until Patrick Sweeney comes back out of the box. Patrick Sweeney a goal, three assists, four points for him so far on the year. All the 15 games played. Actually was a transfer student from Marquette University before landing here in the desert to play for ASU. In his senior year and 20 seconds left until he's back out of the box. Moved on to the outside, trying to get there first. Instead, dumped all the way back down. The Sun Devils all over it there that time and cleaned it all the way back down the ice. For a week on the drop off. Here is Mayer scratching the ice with a pass ahead. On forward now, able to take it inside the zone. Here's a shot that time, and Applebaum turns that one away. Trawick again one more time, being watched tightly that time by Haddock. And now a steal here, trying to get there as Billingsley and able to regain control of the Longhorns with a nice effort that time. And it comes all the way back down for another ice in here with 11.34. So coming up on the halfway mark of period number three in a 5-1 lead for ASU. If you're just joining us here, ASU trying to move on to 11 and 9 on the season. First home game to kick off the start of the second semester, and they won't be back at home until February 2nd. Their next couple games will be on the road, and that starts on Saturday when they take on their division rival in GCU. And then after those two games, the score that was deflected in front. Michael Andriot's going to get credit for that one. And a 6-1 lead here for ASU. So Michael Andriot. He's playing his third season with the Maroon and Goal, records his fourth goal of the season. And now increasing the lead now to six. But as I was saying for ASU, their next game after they play GCU, they'll be at NAU and Flagstaff. And we'll have two home games against GCU until they gear up for the playoffs. There will be the regionals on later on in February. That'll be down in Southern California. ASU controlling now and looking to get this one out of the zone. Manning lost the handle, but got it to Walcott. Schuler back down to where it started for Manning, and Manning will look things over and just flip it across the pond to the other side. Hurt again, looking to stop it up ice and collides with the player in front. That was Walcott, but Walcott took the worst of that one. Another hard hit that time, Palmer and Walcott. Rather, excuse me, Palmer and Hurd. Two to... Really hard check that time out at center ice. Spun back around here is Pity away in the puck trying to get there instead knocked along and came all the way on out. Here's a wrist shot that time, it's fought down. 
ASU trying to clean the puck out of their own zone. Backpedaling here is Ott. Ott again will just hold the point. Long range shot that time and able to glove that one down. Is Applebaum to hold things up here with 9.38 left to go in this third period. Off the face off, it's driven right back on net, and Applebaum again with the glove hand will just shut it down. So we'll see another face off. Which we're at the same side again. So face off one picked up now, and here comes Bellatini starting ahead. Try the lead pass on for La Chapelle, just too far out of his reach. Sent back along to the near side. Chismar trying to hold it inside the zone, does just that. Mayer takes his man up along the boards. La Chapelle fighting through there. Coming out of here is Quain, fires a shot back on net. Played back in, Bellatini trying to sweep that one on the diagonal pass. Comes all the way back on out, and here is Chismar. Looking to start on ahead. Chismar taking it out to his right, finding some space. Top of the circle, he'll dance his way right back on in, but missed the net. Clean back out off the glass, out ahead, only as far as Keller. He'll get it started the other way. Nice move by Keller. He'll walk his way back in and turn it on to the corner for Bellatini. Ran out of room and just dumps it back in. And spiked in down behind the net, and now it's worked on along to the far side boards, and that time Bosch on the pinch, able to keep it back in. Just floats it right back on net, and now Chismar. We'll shovel it all the way down and deep. Forced in for Bellatini. Trying to clear it. Are the Longhorns couldn't get to the puck, and now Bellatini will glove it down. He'll play it, skate the blade. And this one leaned all the way on for Manning, and now it comes all the way on out and ahead. Strohmeyer inside the zone with a shell it all the way deep inside the zone. Manning will play it from the near side. Haddock hits the bricks. He'll stretch one on out to the far side and carried back inside the attacking zone. That wrister and it's fought down by Trice. Schuler inside the zone. Couldn't get through Manning. And now the touch back on a late ahead. One on one Billingsley dancing his way to the outside. And a wrist shot that is fought down with the glove hand. That time by Trice. This one trying to move it back up the board. Sun Devils going to work again down low. And a 6-1 lead in this third period. Billingsley out to Manning. Hits the bricks. Sends it all the way back in for Haddock. Haddock now being leaned on and just trying to get that one out to center and does just that. Here is Manning and hands it off and it's going to be offside. With seven minutes to go here in this third period. Shots 38 to 37 in favor of the Sun Devils right now. They lead in the score six to one. So right back on for La Chapelle. Here he comes, works it in La Chapelle, but closed off that time at the last moment. And the net came off its moorings with 6.50 left to go. Longhorns get control inside the zone. This one bleeds all the way out, trying the two-line pass on ahead, and it finds a stick of Stevenson. And now ASU can control here as Palmer, still looking for his first goal of the season. Missed the man. It comes all the way back down. Trawick with it. Comes right back on for Stevenson, and then lays it right back up the middle here for Hurd. 
Cleared back along off the edge now and floated on by Walcott. To the outside for Quain. Here's Quain with a shot, followed by Billings, or Billingsley, or rather, yes, Billingsley, and lost the handle. Just jammed that one too high over the top of the cage. Move back in deep and right back on net for Applebaum with 5.57 now remaining here in play. She wins the face off and they take it inside their own zone. But for the Longhorns, their next game again, their next four games all on the road in this five game road trip. Starting here in Arizona, the next game will be tomorrow night at 8 30 against NAU. And then right back on January 8th, they'll take on GCU and then go to Baylor for two more times. They won't be home until January 27th when they'll take on Texas AM. When this game finishes out, the Texans will drop to five and five on the season. Geller backing up and handing it along now for Pitty. Here he comes, able to stick handle his way back in, puts a shot on that time, spilled back out by Trice and cleaned out now here for ASU to take it. Taking a look and just comes all the way back on down. With under five to go here in this Third period, ASU leading 6-1 to one right now. They make some changes, and out they come. So I'm poured all the way back in deep, try to get there, and now racing back on after it here is 22 for the Longhorns. Turn back along and trying to dance his way back in for a quick shot that time, and it's clean back out. A chance for Andrea at that time to take it in. Go to work downstairs, Andriot. Came back out now here for O'Connor. Up to Manning, slides from the point. Manning walks the line, fakes it, lets it go that time. The issue now out to 42 shots here in this game. And it comes out for Palmer. Reloads it right back on for Manning. He'll dump it into the open corner. Shoulder lined up along the wall. Coming to help out that time was O'Connor. And now it comes back on here for ASU, or rather, excuse me, for the Longhorns and Zimmerman. Feeds it in down low. Play back out to the other side, and out come the Sun Devils looking for O'Connor. Goes off the boards for him, and now sent back on for Mayer. Here he comes right back up the middle. Instead, now hurt on the crisscross. Her dancing back in for a wrister, and it's shut down by Applebaum again. Down to 3.15 left to go in this game. And for the Longhorns now in their 22nd year of existence as a program. Last year, they finished the regular season at 8-11-1-1. They put up 106 goals for, 113 goals against. And they finished their last 10 games of the regular season at 0-9-1. But tonight, they'll drop to 5-5 five five on the year. ASU will move to 11-8. With under three to go here in this third period. Stevenson sends it up top now here for Mayer. Works it back along and now just sent back ahead and looking on forward now here for Bellatini. Able to carry it in. Bellatini and just missed it. Trice might have caught a piece and now Bellatini again on the follow up chance. Here is Hurd. Looking to guide it all the way on out. Couldn't get it there and now carried back on by Chismar in his shot going high off the window. Poked along and now racing back in here is on, on the breakaway. Oh, backhand save that time. Applebaum got that left leg and stayed with it. This one comes back down for Schuler. Uh, 
Bellatini now along the lower boards. Forcing it in down low, centering pass that time on the way. Now here's Quain back up the boards. He'll get it back up off the boards, rebound, and that's jumped on that time by Trice, who hangs on. Trice had a tough night here tonight. In between the nets. Came into this game at 2-2, two and two, entering with the goals, or goals against of 9. Tonight, he's faced 41 shots and has made 32 saves. He's given up six goals against. The Longhorns is trying to get this one all the way on out, and they came into this game on a two-game losing streak, and it's going to come down to three. After tonight, Keller on the back door look. Nice save that time by Trice. Going across right to left and got the toe on it. So Trice will hang on again. Time winding down here in this one. Back down to a minute four left to go in this third period. I she's going to see this one out with a win. That shot hit off the mask of Trice and comes back along. And you're out looking to center one back in front. Final minute to go here in this. Third period here from Oceanside. For the Texans, though, or for rather for the Texas Longhorns, and they'll still be in search for their first win. They haven't won a game since October 23rd. And after tonight's loss, they'll still be in search of, an, of a win. It's been a long time for this club. Coming up on the halfway mark of this, or rather the 30-second mark of this third period. The issue with the win here, though, tonight, just going to hang on still to that 14th seed. Right now looking to finish out this back end of this second half of the season. Before they hit regionals later on in February, which will be back down in Southern California. So the Sun Devils take it right in off the face off. Getting their first is Bosch. Able to tap it in down behind the net. Final seconds here in this third period. Final 10 seconds left to go. Loose puck tied up inside the corner. Going to dig it all the way back out. Play to the other side. Two seconds and one, and that is going to do it here in this one. ASU wins it by a score of 6-1. to one. Aiden Manning, the freshman goaltender, came into this game. Played the first two periods and let in one goal, and then Jared Affelbaum came in for the third period, cleaned it out, and finished the game. Did not let a goal in, and that is going to close out this one. ASU with a 6-1 victory over the Texas Longhorns. So the Longhorns now will fall to 5-5 five five on the year. For ASU, they'll move now to 11-8 on the year. But that is going to do it here for this one. And for myself, I'm Joe Sfertano saying so long and good night from Oceanside. We'll see you next time.